Okay, so we're gonna use the same video that I just did for the canvas. The first thing you wanna do is when you apply voiceover, you want to mute the original audio in that video. So what you wanna do is select the frame that you wanna mute and click on the volume button. When you click on the volume button, you have two options. You can either reduce right, so. the sound, which is muting it, or you can extract audio. By extracting the audio, you're gonna take whatever sound was in that clip and bring it up top that you can manipulate. We don't wanna do that. This makes things really, really complicated um, because when you start moving and cutting scenes, this can get all choppy. It becomes very complicated. So let's say I did this, I, I wanna undo it. On the left, you see this little undo and redo. So these little arrows are on the left is undo and redo. So we're gonna undo it. We're gonna put the audio back. We're gonna click the check mark and we're gonna go back to volume. And what we're, do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mute the clip. This makes things a lot easier. So if you need this audio later on, you can easily access it. And then you're gonna click on the two check marks because we're gonna mute the entire video. So now the entire video is muted. Now we can apply the voiceover very easily. To do voiceover, you wanna click on music and click on record. From here, it's gonna have a countdown. You're gonna talk, uh-oh, I messed up. Now click stop. You can either do it again by clicking the refresh icon on the very right, accept it with the check mark, or cancel it completely. Let's accept it. Now you have the audio file we just made, but let's say the first part was perfect, but only the second part was bad. So you can zoom in by kind of pinching out on the entire timeline and you wanna click on the item and you wanna split it. Now you have two separate sound files. The first half was perfect. The second half was not so good. So you wanna click on the second half and delete it. Then bring the marker where you want it to start up again, click record, and do it all over again, but you're gonna start at a different point. You don't have to start all the way from the beginning. And let's say there's a boom in the middle of our sound and we don't wanna have that, but everything else was perfect. We're gonna stop it, we're gonna accept it, and we're gonna listen back to it. And let's say there's a boom in the middle. So again, pinch out, just like you would a picture, right on the timeline, click on that audio, click split, split it again, delete that boom, that sound that was right there in the middle, click delete. Then you're gonna hold down with your finger this sound file and we're gonna drag it this way. You can even drag up to create multiple tracks that overlap each other in the middle of our sound. Sometimes this can be kind of cool if you want like no breath to happen. You see how that's kind of like a breath? So it just kind of in the middle of our sound. It continues without any pauses or breaths in there. Lots more to say about that, but for now, this is your basic voiceover tutorial.